my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. How are you guys? How are you doing? I hope that you guys are doing amazing. I hope that you guys are ready for this Hollow's Eve and this full moon that is going to be epic, you guys. Um, really, really put your intentions out there, what you're trying to bring towards you. The energy is already being felt. It is absolutely transformative type of energy. So with that being said, I've been getting a lot of DMs on my Instagrams, Snapchats. I recently got into TikTok um, and I've been getting a lot of messages on there as well. So most of you guys have been wanting to do a ritual to bring in new love. So I wanted to oblige and give you guys exactly what you guys want. And this is a very, very simple spell. But I want to tell you guys that it is like, it is idiot proof to make it very simple. It is, like I said, it's simplistic, it's to the point, and the outcome is always amazing. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to take you guys very quickly. I do want to say you can do this in the full moon you can do this in the waxing moon. You can also do this in the new moon. Now, ideally, like I said, I'm putting this video out because a lot of you guys have been wanting to know what kind of love uh, spells you guys can do for this ritual, not ritual, sorry, for this full moon that's coming on Hollow's Eve and to bring new love to you guys. So this is specifically for that. Now, I do want to say um, for those of you guys, if you're a man, you can follow the same instructions the only difference is that the candle or your candle the color candle you're going to be using is blue okay so if you're a man you're going to be using a blue candle if you're a woman you're going to be using a uh, pink candle now for those of you guys of same sex if you are a female but you uh you know uh, connect or you feel like your energy is more masculine then you would use a uh, blue candle and if you are uh, uh, a gay man and you feel more feminine you would be using the pink candle if you're more masculine you would be using the black sorry not the black the blue candle okay so i hope that makes sense for you guys okay it's very simple like i said what we're gonna need is obviously a plate um, ideally, like, you know, you guys have seen in my other spell videos, uh, we use the foil, uh, to make it much more easier when you're going to dispose of the work after it is already concluded. So you guys can see here, what you're also going to be using is you're going to be using parchment paper. If you don't have parchment paper, you can use white paper. You just have to make sure that it doesn't have any lines. It's completely blank. Okay. You're going to be using a red marker or a red pen. Now you're also going to be using sugar. Now it could be any type of sugar. It doesn't matter the type of sugar. So like I said, you can use any type of sugar. Now you're going to be using um, love oil. So it could be any type of love oil. It could be uh, Adam and Eve um, love oil. You can use love oil. You can use come to me oil. Uh, you can use um, hummingbird oil. You can use siete machos. You can use whatever love oil works for you. Now, for those of you guys that know and have shopped at my online store, you guys know we have uh, love oil that is specifically charged, ritualized, and um, made specifically for love bindings and love uh, spell work. So, that's what I'm going to be using. But like I said, if you don't have that, you can substitute it for any type of love oil uh, that you can get your hands on. OK, now you're also like I said, you're going to be using a pink candle if you're female or if you're feminine and you're going to be using a blue candle if you're more masculine um, or if you're a male. OK, now you're going to be needing red rose petals, pink rose petals white rose petals, whatever you feel most pulled towards. So what I mean by that is you can do a mixture. As you guys can see here, we have red um, rose petals, which is because of love, you know, passion, desire, lust. 
and I'm also going to be using pink uh, rose petals because I wanted to I, I want to bring uh, the energy of genuine friendship genuine connection um, more on the pure and authentic side versus just it being passionate but again if you want just passion and lust you would use red um, if you're wanting marriage and uh, commitment then you would use like a mixture of red pink and white uh, white because you know ideally it, it tends to represent commitment and marriage um, so like I said I'm going to be using a mixture of red and pink and you're also going to be using or uh, integrating in the petition paper um, some hair pieces of yourself so what I mean by that is you can use your you know you can cut the tip of uh, the tips of your hair. If you're a man, you can, you know, snip a few. <laughs> if you're bald, you can use hair from down there. Whatever works for you, okay? You don't need very much, um, but you do need some, you know, some of your hair. And the reason why we use this is because this is an attraction spell. Uh, this is a magnetic spell. So what that does, it's going to raise your vibration, specifically your sexual vibration, so that you can be able to pull or attract more suitors or more people that are wanting or are matching the energy of what your petition is. So you, as the magnet, um, using your, obviously your hair, that's personal, uh, that is, you know, very strong energy obviously it has your energy so it makes the the pool much easier okay all right so the last thing you're going to be needing is any type of perfume or cologne that you wear so you would use ideally the perfume or cologne that you most often use and the reason for that is again the same thing we are heightening your energy and when you're around people or when you're being social, the scent is going to be like that, that magnetic attraction, that magnetic pull. Um, and that's the reason why we're using the perfume or like I said, a cologne. If you don't use cologne or perfume, whatever oil you tend to use, that's the one you would use. If you don't use either, then this spell is particularly not for you. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a piece of parchment paper or a white paper with no lines, and you're going to write down your petition. So again, this is not to bring a specific person to you. This is to bring new love. Now, with this spell work, what you're also doing, especially for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, what you're doing is basically you're going to be removing you're going to be removing if there's any blockages, if there is any attachments to past lovers, to past relationships. And it's almost like you've been at, at this point where you feel stuck, where you feel like you're not really, you know, mingling out there or it's really difficult for you to connect with someone. Um, this is going to serve as a, you know, it's going to serve almost like a blockbuster um, to remove and disintegrate those blockages so that the energy can flow organically and it can flow freely. So obviously with spell work, it's very important how you go into the spell um, with your intentions, your energy, your state of mind. So for the beginning of this spell work, before you, obviously if you're watching this video, you want to watch it from the beginning all the way to the end so you know exactly the steps to take. But the very important, very important thing to do in the beginning before doing or before commencing your spell work is to shower. Why? Because you want to cleanse yourself. You want to purge yourself and you want to get in the state of mind of opening the doors to love. And the only way to do that is to physically cleanse yourself and prepare yourself mentally. So again, uh, showering is very important in the beginning of this spell work. So once that is done, 
when you come out the shower what you're going to do is you're going to spray some of your perfume or cologne on your neck your wrist and the back of your knees now why are we doing this because these are it's it's um these are points in our body that when you put any type of essence oil or any type of perfume uh, with the beat of your heart, it, I don't know how to describe it, like have you ever, um, have you ever smelled perfume or cologne on someone and it was so irresistible and you ask the name of the perfume or the cologne, you go and you buy it and then you spray it on yourself and it just doesn't smell the same. That has a lot to do with your pheromones. It has a lot to do with the chemistry of your body and how you sweat and how that mixture uh, with the perfume, what it does. Okay, so basically that's that's why you're, you're putting it in your uh, in your neck, in your wrist and in back of your knees. Now, back of the knees is also uh, has the same result but also it is a metaphor for you know have you ever heard weak in the knees <laughs> when you meet someone you just know it's it yeah that's what we're trying to achieve here so all right so once you do that then you come into putting all your ingredients together again your state of mind is that of don't focus particularly on being desperate to bring love to you it's more of a self-love type of spell work at least the mentality that you need to go into this okay so how, what do i mean by that okay so when you start your petition you're going to start off with i you're going to put your first last name and date of birth um and then you're going to put daughter of or uh son of and you're going to put your mother and your father's last name and um their first name and last name so you're gonna put let me give you guys an example so you're going to put um i uh jane doe daughter of i don't know um daughter of Stacy Doe and uh, John Doe open the doors to love. Okay. Sorry about my crappy writing, guys. So you're going to put I. Jane Doe, daughter of Stacy Doe and John Doe, open the doors to love. Now, when you're doing this, really put your intention and your focus on what you're writing, okay? You're going to do this petition as personal as possible, and you can really delve into what it is exactly that you're looking for or what you're trying to pull towards you so what i mean by that is like i tell you guys when we're doing love spells and it's new love of course we have to focus in the physical right because physical attraction is very important so try to keep it half and half so what i mean by half and half is try to focus on yes physical features that you find yourself being attracted to but also focus on their personality or the type of person or the type of character they are now this is very important because you want to maintain balance um, when people have a tendency of focusing more on the superficial or on the physical aspect yes you can meet a person and pull a person towards you that meets all of that but then you find out that they're an asshole or that she's bitchy and she complains a lot and stuff like that so again it's more of going within and trying to figure out exactly what it is that would work best for you, okay? So you're going to start off with I, Jane Doe, daughter of Stacy Doe and John Doe, open the doors to love. 
I open my heart, my mind, and my spirit to receive love. All this love that I have to give and to feel that it is being reciprocated. I call upon, um, you know, this man or this woman uh, that is loving, that is nurturing, that is understanding, or that is very fun, that is very, you know, um, spontaneous, whatever it is that you feel more attracted to personality-wise. Once that's done, um, then you want to focus on the physical attributes, someone that has a beautiful smile, someone that has beautiful eyes, or someone that is short, someone that is tall, whatever it is that you want to put. When you're done with this petition, what you're going to do at the very bottom, you're going to say, I thank the spirits. I thank the universe. Whatever deity you work with, whatever spirit, whatever saint you work with, you can offer this petition to them and you can, you know, offer them gratitude. I thank you, St. Simon, for the blessing bestowed upon me. I am ready to receive. I am ready to give love, give unconditional love. I'm willing to uh, give understanding, give support and reciprocation in that in return. A person that is, you know, caring, that is understanding, someone that encourages me or someone that, you know, allows me to step out of my own self and, you know, find more things that I didn't know about myself and it's almost like a rediscovery of myself all over again. Whatever it is that you want. Now, in the very end, be specific. I'm wanting a serious relationship or I'm wanting a commitment or I'm wanting um, this person is ready to commit or this person is not into playing games. They know exactly what it is that they want, etc., etc. So you can make it as personal as possible. So once that is done, what you're going to do is you're going to be inserting here uh, the hair. So again, you don't need very much. You know, don't go cutting your hair all off and stuff. <laughs> and like I said, if you don't have like any hair in your head, you can use like pubical hair. You can use any type of hair, really. So you're going to put it in the petition on top of the petition. And what you're going to do is you're going to spray your perfume or your cologne on the petition paper as well as on your hair because your hair is on here. Once that is done, what you're going to do is you're going to get the love oil, whatever love oil you're going to be using, and you're going to add the oil, and you're going to rub the oil on the petition paper. Oh my God, you guys. I wish you guys can smell this. It smells amazing. All right, so once you do this, you know, when you're rubbing the oil, think of love, think of how you're going to feel, how this person makes you feel. And like I said, this is, yes, to pull a individual that is looking for the same thing you're looking for and that has or possesses some of the qualities or, you know, physical attributes that you're asking for. But at the same time, they're coming to you with the same intention that you're going into doing the spell work. So again, think of, you know, how loving and caring they are and how you're going to be towards them as well. Okay, so once that is done, what you're going to do is you're going to then fold the paper towards you. Turn it to the right and fold it towards you again. And again, all right. So once you have that, like we have here, now what we're going to do is you're going to spit. You're going to spit some saliva into the petition paper. Why? Because what are the first steps when meeting someone or with, or with uh, getting to know someone? You talk to them, right? So by using the spit, what you're doing is this is going to be a form or a representation of the way you communicate and express yourself that he's going to be very or she's going to be very receptive of. So again, you're going to spit some saliva on there. And once we're done with that, what we're going to do now is we're going to add the we're going to add the rose petals around 
as such. And what you're doing here is you're focusing on the love. You're focusing on the joy, the happiness, the, you know, how is this person going to make you feel? How are you going to know that this person is the one for you, that this person is the right one? And we know or we sense or we connect that with how they make us feel. So how is this person going to make you feel? Are they going to make you feel excited? Are they going to make you feel at peace? Are they going to make you feel seen? Are they going to make you feel understood? You're focusing on all of this when you're doing this, okay? Very important. Okay. I want to integrate some of the pink as well. Okay. All right. So it's going to look something like this. All right. Okay. So once that is done, what we're going to do now is we're going to be adding the sugar. And like I said, uh, you can use any type of sugar. It doesn't matter. this to be able to grab it and the sugar is obviously to sweeten but you're not sweetening a specific person you're sweetening yourself to be able to attract suitors to be able to bring to you or lure people <laughs> towards you that have the same desires or wants that you're looking for okay all right so once that is done what we're going to do now is i'm going to move this to the side and i'm going to get the candle now if you purchased uh the candle from my store from my online store then the candle's already ritualized, it's already consecrated, and it's already prepared. So all you really need to do is you're going to add one drop. You're going to add one drop of the oil that you're using. Sorry, you guys, for the noise. You don't need very much. You guys know I work in three, so I'm using three drops of the oil. And you're going to do this just so it can spread. All right. Once that is done, what we're going to do is you're going to spray the candle with your perfume or with your cologne once. All right. Once that is done, what we're going to do now is we're going to center the candle on top of the petition paper, right at the center, like this, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to spray again the perfume or cologne in all the ingredients. So like I said, you guys already know I do it in threes. You guys can spray it as much as you want. One, two, and three. All right. So once that is done, my lovelies, we are pretty much set to go. So what you're going to do now is you're going to put your energy and your intentions into it. And the way to do this is to center uh, both your hands, your right and left hand, towards your work. You're going to bless it in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I bless and consecrate these ingredients and this candle, these roses, this sugar 
this parchment paper and this love oil so that I may empower it so I may be activating the work that is about to commence you can ask your spirit guides your ancestors your uh, deities whoever you work with at this point to step in to guide you to empower this love spell that you're about to do so that you can be able to bring towards you that which your heart is seeking or is desiring and for those of you guys that purchased this candle you have the prayer the chant in the candle uh, for those of you guys that don't if you're just doing this and you can use any type of candle like I said um, pink or blue depending on what it is that you're looking for depending on what you connect with so anyways what you're gonna do is you're gonna say you're gonna light the candle give me one second let me look for let me get the matches really quick Okay, so you're going to light the candle, and we're going to do the chant. You're going to say, sacred flame flow from me to draw her or him ever near. As endless rivers flow to the sea, her or his path to me is clear. A love that's true, once here, she or he'll find and know her or his journey is end and in her or his heart soul and mind he or she'll know our lives should blend okay once that is done you're gonna leave this candle undisturbed so make sure that when you light this you're gonna be around the candle or you're not gonna you know rush off and do whatever it is that you have to do in case there is an emergency and you really can't you know watch the candle you could turn it off but make sure not to blow it out okay so you would either need to snuff it or use a spoon to turn it off but don't blow on the candle okay now ideally I don't suggest for you guys to blow it out the moment you light it, the spell has begun. And it's not completed until it's extinguished, okay? So again, you're gonna say, sacred flame flow for me to draw him ever near as endless rivers flow to the sea, his path to me is clear. A love that's true, once here he'll find and know his journey's end. And in his heart, soul, and mind, he'll see how our lives should blend okay so I will make sure to put the chant in the uh, description below so you guys can uh, know exactly what to say um, once this is done again like I said it is very important to stay focused and make sure to be around the candle uh, just so the energy can be amplified okay once it is done and once it's extinguished or completed what you're going to do is you're going to basically get the ingredients and you're going to toss them out into nature. Ideally, you know, towards bushes, towards a tree. You don't bury this, but you do offer it to nature, like I said. So you could go to the park. You can go to a place where it's very green. There's a lot of, you know, uh, there's a lot of, you know, grass or there's a lot of trees. There's a lot of nature basically and you're going to offer it to the spirits of earth and you're going to thank them for the blessing that they have bestowed upon you okay so again like i said if you do this for this coming full moon if you begin now um, to the conclusion of the full moon you're going to see the results you're going to start to notice people following you people try not in a crazy way but they're going to try to be getting your attention they're going to you know you're going to notice more people. You're going to notice more people noticing you. Um, even, you know, it can happen as like I had a client that uh, 
he tends to be very shy into himself and he started noticing that women would actually go up to him and try to get his number. So again, um, just make sure that your intention is true when doing this type of spell work, okay? I hope that you guys enjoy this. Like, share, and comment and definitely comment below your results. I wish you guys the very best. I love you guys and we'll see each other soon. Bye.